All right, you've already heard some of our ideas for event cards. Here's some ideas for faction cards. The alt-right, rich guys against taxes, clean coal, the secretly racist, and angry white men. I like this card a lot because uh, it would be a surprise card, and the key to angry white men is that they want things to go back the way they used to be. So this could be a card that kind of reverses the game state. Something bad happens and you go, no, 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 I want it, I want it back the way it used to be, and, and, and you, could, you could undo it, you could reverse it somehow. Definitely need a fake news faction. That's, I mean, that's huge. We gotta have that. Social networks, Russian operatives, transgender allies, feminists get to move the scandal token. Now we could have three cards that move the scandal token. I think that would be great. Uh, Puerto Ricans, Muslims, immigration agents, Native Americans, public school teachers, maybe, uh, military personnel, diplomats, hate groups. Hate groups would be a new negative card that nobody wants, similar to the illegal immigrants card. An Antifa. And if we, if we get the Antifa card in there, we can uh, probably remove Occupy Wallet Street because that's feeling a little dated now. For investment cards, I'm thinking things like Golf Resort, Pipeline, University named after you, Mail Order Stakes, Fancy Hotels. You see where I'm going with that. Finally, we need new leaders. One to represent house leadership. Maybe he has a widow's peak, likes to pump iron and fundraise from red groups. We need one to represent Senate leadership, a half-man, half-turtle who can just obstruct whatever you're trying to do, nullified. But only once per game, that's the catch. Speaking of right-wing groups, how about a card called Right-Wing Nationalist, a shadowy figure lurking in the background with really bad skin, especially focused on media groups? I'm thinking his superpower actually counts media groups even in your opponent's coalition, so now your opponents f feel ambivalent about playing their own media cards. It could be interesting. On the left wing side, we need a crusader for financial regulation. I'm thinking she is depicted like Don Quixote, lancing at windmills, and she benefits from destroyed financial factions. Uh, we need an establishment progressive to represent house leadership, and one to represent Senate leadership, maybe with a close connection to Wallet Street. And we should probably add ex-comedian as a new leader. We'll just let him begin the game with a scandal token. And speaking of scandal, how about a leader a green leader called Movie Mogul, who just destroys everything he touches. Okay, here's the thing. The, the caricatures I just used are from Wiki Commons. That's not actually our artwork. Uh, Chad's going to do new illustrations for everything, but I don't have anything to show you yet because we haven't made a goal and um, he hasn't drawn anything yet. So what are we going to do with $1,000? It basically breaks down to this. We need to pay Chad to make illustrations. We need to pay a manufacturer to make the cards. We need to pay Herb to make buttons. We need to pay the manufacturer and Herb to mail us the cards and buttons. We need to buy a bunch of mailers, and then we need to buy postage and ship them to all of you. That's how it breaks down. Uh, this is uh, going to be a small operation. We're not going to be reimbursed for our time, and we're probably going to lose a little bit of money on it. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to do this. It's, 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 I think it's a very worthwhile creative project. And uh, it's also gonna, it's gonna encapsulate this moment in time, just like the last one did. And uh, we'll hopefully, hopefully be able to look back on this uh, period of history and find some humor in it, uh, because we could all use a laugh. Thanks.